This is the original image as it came out of my camera. You can see that the man on the right's face is very close to being a silhouette, and that was done intentionally in the way that I exposed the image. What we're going to discuss is processing this image as if it was shot on slide film and whether or not you think the World Press Photo Contest judges would find that to be manipulation of the image or just enhancement of the image. The slide film I intend to replicate with the Camera Raw processor is called Fuji Velvia. It's a high contrast, high saturation film. We'll look at a color profile setting in the raw processor that mimics that film slightly, and then we'll make some adjustments that will make it look as though it were shot on that slide film. We're going to change the profile of this photo from standard Adobe Color to Vivid, but I'm actually going to select Browse right now so that we can get a preview. So here's the standard Adobe Color as it came out of the camera, and I can select some of these other modes. I can put the cursor over, and it will show me different outputs. The one we're going to select, though, is Adobe Vivid. When I put my cursor over it, I want you to watch the barrel. You'll notice that it gets a little darker because it's increasing the contrast. It's also adding some saturation. So when I hover over it, you'll notice the blue shifts a little bit. So we're going to select that, go up top, and close the grid. Like I said, Velvia is a high contrast, high saturation film. So I'm going to add some contrast to make it a little closer to the film. We're going to take it up to about 30. And I'm also going to add some, a little bit more saturation, about 15. So right now, this is how it would look if I shot it on slide film. So if we look up here at the face, we can see it's almost completely a silhouette at this point. And all I've done is switch the profile setting for the color, added some contrast, and added some saturation. Now I'm going to open the image into Photoshop, zoom in on the face, and do a little burning. So I'm zooming in, and you can see there is still a slight amount of detail in his face. So I'm going to select the burn tool and give just a few quick passes until his face is obscured. We'll back out now and you can see the face is pretty much a silhouette. So the question is, in your opinion, did that amount of processing change the image beyond its original intent and confuse the viewer? This is what I want you to discuss. Would you accept or reject this image if you were one of the World Press Photo judges? So one final comparison before you make your decision. The one on the left is the processed image. The one on the right is how it came out of camera. I look forward to seeing which side of the fence you fall on.